Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today, going to go out and have a festive afternoon tea special. Going to go to a place called Great Scotland Yard Hotel. There's loads of options for festive afternoon teas in London, but this one particularly appeals to me because it has an adorable looking blonde chocolate gingerbread man, um, which was the thing that really stood out to me there. Never been for a festive afternoon tea in London before, and it's actually been some quite some time since I went out for afternoon tea in general. I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously got the finger sandwiches, the scones, the desserts. Here's hoping it's gonna be good. Let's go check it out and enjoy some more festive food. Scotland Yard Hotel to try their festive afternoon tea which has just arrived, got a whole lovely se selection of savoury and sweet snacks and scones. I'm going to kick off on the savoury first, we've got a lovely selection of sandwiches and other bits and Going to start with the gorgeous looking smoked salmon, horseradish, and caviar on white bread. Looks lovely, very dainty, very cute. I love smoked salmon so much, it's so, so tasty. And that white bread is so soft. Also got a lovely cup of peppermint tea to go with it. Now decisions, decisions as to what to have next. I think maybe going to try the truffle egg mayonnaise on the briochette, which looks gorgeous. The brioche is really nicely toasted. a lovely truffle flavour to it and the bread is so nice and soft and fluffy on the inside with kind of that crisp toasted crispness on the outside. So, so creamy. have we got here. We have this lovely spiced roasted gammon and celeriac remoulade on brown bed with a little red onion on top, which looks delightful. <laughs> It's great. I love little finger sandwiches on afternoon tea. They always just feel so dainty and nice. Now we have a couple of other things which aren't sandwiches. So we have the roasted cauliflower and stout gougere, which is like a savoury cheese kind of shoe bun. And then we have the pumpkin rocket and montgomery cheddar quiche which looks lovely which i'm gonna have to eat with a knife and a fork so we're gonna dig in on this Oh, 
lovely buttery pastry. That is gorgeous. Melt in the mouth. And lovely generous pumps of, chunks of pumpkin too. And then the final savoury item is gougia. Filled with the most delicious cauliflower puree inside. So, so rich. And it all just kind of melts away in one. That is gorgeous. Finished up on savoury, going to move on to the warm scones now, which we're hiding under that little napkin. So we have plain and we have raisin with um, cream and black currant jam to go with it. They feel so gorgeous and warm. Um, are you cream or jam first? I'm definitely cream first because I think it acts like a butter. And to try the raisin one first that I have just um, creamed and jammed up. melt in the mouth good and the fact they're warm makes it so much better now let's try the plain one the black currant jam is so wonderfully and tangy contrasts so nice against the cream. <laughs> Moving on to Sweet Now and got a few bits and bobs on there. And the main thing that I was really excited about, which was one of the main reasons why I came here, is this incredible looking Dulcy gingerbread man. of all the Rona Josie's like a caramelized white chocolate it was the first kind of blonde chocolate on the market and they've coated a ginger cake here with it and decorated to make him look like the most adorable gingerbread man so a bit cruel but going to eat him now ginger cake is so light and fluffy and it's almost got like a ginger kind of puree on top and then the dulcy adds a lovely caramelized flavor to it it's really really good so cruel to eat him but so good at the same time i love mont blanc i love chestnut and again this is filled with a lovely kind of black currant filling it's got a hazelnut sponge and a lovely light and fluffy chestnut mousse Mm. Another great Mont Blanc dessert. It's got a bit of biscuit in there for crunch as well, like a pastry biscuit base. Last up on the sweet, we've got the tangerine and cinnamon religious, which is essentially like a, a shoe filled with like a chocolate mousse and filled with a tangerine compote in the centre. Like a pimped up chocolate orange, really, really good. Very dainty as well. I'm gonna try some of the shoe. Mm -hmm. Oh, feels like there's a bit of popping candy in there too. Perfect, refreshing way to end the tea. The chocolate's not too rich, the orange is lovely and light and fruity. We're all finished up now. Um, overall, it was a lovely, lovely festive afternoon tea. Highlight was the gingerbread man, just because of how cute he was, but I loved the scones too, and the, the savouries were great as well. You also get a lovely little 
brunch pan mince pie and ice Christmas cookie in a little bag which you can either eat here if you still want more or you can take it away. didn't actually fancy the mince pie and iced cookie when I got back that evening because I was really full and thought it would actually be nicer to save them for another day. Um, so it's the next day I'm going to have a look and see what they're like. They come in a gorgeous little bag tied with um, really nice string. The mince pie is frangipan so it's got almonds on there as well and then the iced cookie is gorgeous it's even got some string on so you can hang it on your tree if you want um quite a thin cookie and then it's decorated lovely so I'm gonna have a little try of this first um I think it's probably more decorative um it's it's got a light gingerbread flavor um but it's not like the most amazing gingerbread biscuit I've ever had and now I'm gonna give the mince pie a go um not a huge fan of mince pies, but we'll see. Again, the mince pie is, is okay, but not um, amazing. The mince meat's a little bit dry in there. The best thing definitely was the afternoon tea that I had whilst I was at the hotel. Everything there was great. I think these are more kind of like decorative little takeaways, which is still really nice, but just not my thing as much. Um, so yeah, that was a delicious festive afternoon tea in London. So if you liked the video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more delicious foodie videos. We'll see you in the next one.